Pretty little skinny little bitty body model as someone <clears throat> Hey guys, long time no see today is a new day. Um happy new year. Now it's almost February, but January 2021 had a lot of 2020 shit going on, so we have to, we gotta get ourselves together. It's a new day. It's New Year. <laughs> it's almost New Year's. Um, so right now I'm actually about to get my eyelashes either refilled or taken off because don't even look at my eyebrows. Just we're we're just talking about the lashes here. Bye. And we're back. We're back. Okay, so we're back. I mean, we were looking a little crazy at first. Now we're we're back in action. Okay, we were bald. We was bald, bald, bald lashes, but we're back. So now we're just gonna run through errands and then. Hey guys, so we're back. We're home, and it's time. To cook some food. So, so that's what we're making. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what we're about to make. So heavy. So this is what we got here. In my box, we have three, three options to choose from. I think tonight I'm gonna try these beef. Bulgogi meatballs with roasted carrots, ginger rice, and sriracha crema. So it looks like this. Really tasty. It says that it only takes 10 minutes to prep this meal and we should be done cooking in 35 minutes. Now, if this is as fast as it says it is, then I'm not sure what took me so long to try HelloFresh because I always struggle with figuring out what to eat. It's always an argument. What are we gonna eat for dinner? I don't know. So, you know, I mean, this can only be helpful. So, like I told you guys already, tonight we're making the beef bulgogi meatballs. I really love how everything is separated and packaged and labeled. Like, it's all that for me. Did you know that the average trip? To your grocery store takes 41 minutes and i'm sure that's for the average person because i'm far from average your girl will be at the store for two hours and still don't know what she wants to eat but you can skip all those trips and get everything that you need to make your chef curated meal delivered right to your door so you don't have to leave the house and we love that I'm really excited that I got to partner with HelloFresh for this video. We love a company that gives back and HelloFresh donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019. And this year they're stepping their game up and their food donations amid the coronavirus. Now the directions are to cook the rice on a stove, but you guys, I never cook my rice on the stove. I use my rice cooker every time I make rice and I wash my rice. So, you know, do what works for you, boo. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. If you're anything like me, I, I struggle with that. And since everything is pre-portioned, you waste less food, you prep your food even faster, and you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need because if you're anything like me, I like to eat out too. So you get the best of both worlds. Am I the only one that has to wear a glove when handling like raw foods? I just really don't like to touch it. So your girl had to put on a glove so we can mash up this meat and make 
meatballs and I must say I, I really enjoyed myself. Okay, I'm all done. Here's it looks like plate it up. Got a little bit of carrot, some rice, and the meatballs with the sriracha cream on top. So So if you want to try HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code LakiaStar10 and that'll get you 10 free meals and free shipping. Hey guys, it's the next day. So I want to try to do a ponytail, so I figured let's try it on camera. So I was going to try to do my hair last night, but it just didn't work out. So my hair is pretty dirty and needs to be washed. So we're going to attempt to do a ponytail. This looks a little crooked. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to, like, mold my hair to the top of my head. Um, it's still pretty straight, so I don't think I need to, like, do it in layers. Like, I feel like, you know, this should be fine. But I'm really just unsure of how I want to mold it up. I watch a bunch of videos. <laughs> So we're either going to use this free spray or just edge control, but I figure, let's try this, let's try this, uh, 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 a little bit of both. So let's get some strips. Wax strip, I got my triggers. So, should I already put my hair in a ponytail and then I should. So, we're just going to brush our hair up. I might use edge control in the back because it's a little nappy back here. Okay, so we're going to do that and then we're going to just finish it off with our hard brush. always take the ponytail holder off and you know redo it so that's what we're gonna do is this where I want the ponytail to sit yeah this is where she's gonna sit I was like contemplating on if I wanted like a high ponytail or a low ponytail. We're gonna just swoop this up so the hair isn't in our way when we're spraying. This this is good. Okay, I'm really nervous. We got a blow dryer here. A free spray. sections I watched a lot of videos and everyone does it in sections okay 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 this shit is hard to spray okay okay and then brush it up brush it up because and then we're gonna blow dry it Mm -hmm. 
to try to do something cool with my edges but your girl don't know what she don't know what she doing we're gonna do this Ugh. okay oh my god y'all 
Okay, so um, I have a drawstring ponytail. That's what we're gonna put on today. Today. But, let's see, what should I do with this? We're gonna, we're gonna twist this ponytail. And we're gonna do that. Okay. Okay, so this is our ponytail we're going to be using. It's a curly drawstring ponytail. I washed it and let it air dry overnight. And then I blow dried it a little bit this morning because it wasn't all the way dry. I also dyed it black. Um, so yeah, we're going to put this on. I'm try. Um, it looks like this. Those drawstring ponytails, they have two combs. So... We're going to put one comb. Where's the comb? Okay. We're going to do one comb in the front and then one comb in the back. And then we're going to pull the drawstring. Uh oh. Is the comb stuck? Oh, ouch. Wait a minute. These combs are. Okay. That's cool. Pull the drawstring some more because we don't want this ponytail to go anywhere. And I don't like that big hump from my hair, but oh well. Okay, so then we're gonna wrap this around and kind of tuck it. Sure. And then we're gonna take some hair from the back. Hair from the back. And we're gonna wrap that around this space too. And bobby pin it. Yeah, we're gonna bobby pin it. That's a big one. Oh gosh, we're so bobby pins. Yeah, we're gonna bobby pin this. Back. Okay. This is our pony tent. I don't know. It looks crooked. this hump here because that is my hair first of all it's giving jerry curl it's giving let's take the wrap off let's take the wrap off I
right. When I tighten it, that's when it gets wide. So let's loosen it. Okay, it's a little flatter. Let's cover it up. Still don't know what we're doing, but I'm gonna braid my ponytail because either I'm gonna like wrap hair around it or I'm gonna wrap clippings around it. So we're just gonna braid our ponytail. You guys, I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> No idea. So I'm going to clip the bottom. Alright. I just don't want it to look weird or bulky. So I'm gonna clip that there. It's gonna be a long ponytail if it worked out. Okay. it in the back. Okay. And then maybe one more. We have a two clip. This is heavy. Maybe I should have done this with um bundles. And this is the part where I don't know how this is gonna work, but clip. Take hair from the bottom right and we're going to wrap it <laughs> around our ponytail. Uh oh. Oh my god, this oh my gosh. This is cute. Okay. I'm gonna clip this. I'm gonna clip it. I'm gonna bobby pin this in the back. Y'all <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> oh my god, what am I gonna do? You know what? 
we're taking this ponytail out. If you see this ponytail on Instagram, it ain't gonna be this ponytail because this is heavy and it's lopsided. And we're we're gonna have to try something else. So I might continue this in the next vlog, show you guys the outcome of whatever I do. But yeah, this concludes this little short vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're going to try to do this more often, more fun stuff, more cooking if you're into it, just more everything, more life. So um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.